Hello everyone, this is Patan Assassin here. So somehow today I decided to have a small short yeah short uh, faction preview for Yuan Shang and you'll most likely do another short review for Cao Cao. Alright now shut up. So first thing first I won't be talking about his uh, faction mechanic which is lineage for those who love to play Yuan Shao as well as those who have played the game since the release of 3k uh, you already know the purpose of lineage so I don't need to explain much and unique units I won't be talking about it these are all from the base game like the warriors of Ye the defenders of her pay and the captain at the news uh, those three i will be talking those are even if i thought it's called bullshit talks you already know who, who are they and yuan administration office i won't need, i don't need to talk about these uh faction unique uh buildings so fuck this shit and i believe for those that actually purchased the fate divided is it yeah fate divided dlc uh you by right even if you didn't play by now you should have been exposed to the captain armory so this thing i don't think so i'll be covering the most i'll be covering is like uh the yuan shang his notable characters his starting position his dilemmas and yeah i think for the sake of uh, making sure that this preview will be a little bit uh, longer i will do it together with uh, Cao Cao's uh, action preview so this is two preview in one uh, video and we'll start off by going after Yuan Shang first so let us go into the game then Alright, so... Alright, now let us go north. So, we are playing as uh, Yuan Shang. And I believe... Yeah, we are on Legendary Legendary, so... Huh. Alright, so... We will just talk about uh, his starting position. Now, as you might have noticed, uh, Yuan Shang start off with only three land, uh, one commandery, full commandery, which is uh, the Tai com Tai commandery. You have your city of Gao Liu and Zhuolu, which is the hot pasture, and you have the Guangyang commandery, which is uh, the city of Qi itself. Although you do share the commentary with uh, Tartun, who is your ally at the start of your campaign. Now, as I said, I do not want to spend a lot of time talking about what you already know. So I'm going to skip uh, lineage. I'm going to skip about Captain Armory. And I'm going to skip about the the army, the captain retinue and the unit units. But I would tell you that this is your starting stack as Yuan Shang. So you have your entire full stack of northern units. These are some of the not so elite elite units. Yeah. And you you will be facing a dilemma where Cao Cao's main stack is here in Cao Liu and this city is just a level 3 city so you are going to lose this city regardless of how you plan on defending since there is no point in defending this city you might, might as well just give it to Cao Cao and alright you have your ally which is Tartun one thing that I would always like to remind is never trust your AI 
even if they are or allies, they are going to do uh, dumb shit. They are going to do. You can you can like for sure there is a possibility cartoon will like go down here, but most of the time they might go straight into suicide, and you don't want that. So your best course of uh, expansion is abandon the north. Expand south. Just run south. It doesn't matter how how far you can get, but you know that Wohai is the closest commandery to you, which is within this field term will be somehow uh, defenseless because there is no Tao Tao stack coming for maybe around one or two turns. Do know it, this is just one or two turns, not not three to, not ten to twenty turns so don't try to like oh there's nothing in the south and you, you just go keep conquering no Cao Cao is a big faction you are a small faction you are not you are not the face divided Yuan Shao kind of size no you are now just a pitiful warlord you are basically nothing so avoid conflict with Cao Cao's main step if you are not that confident like yeah like you this stat is actually much better than your stat trust me you can win but if you if you don't have the uh, what we call if you don't have the generous to deal with people like Xia Hou Yuan and Cao Cao as well as the front line to be able to defend against the Qingzhou units it's best to like abandon the entire north focus your ex expansion south yeah focus your expansion south or I am telling this all expand into Liaotong cause you have to understand that you are only allied to Tatun you are not allied to the rest of the map so whoever that is not your ally, don't just go and sign a trade deal and non-aggression. You have to decide who you must kill first because this is about your survival. The true, uh, the one and only, you are basically two Yuan brothers trying to escape from Cao Cao and what you need the most is a steady what we call a steady base yeah like Guangyang the city of Qi is not it's not safe for you actually you might even lose this uh, if you actually lose your entire stack so my suggestion is either you go south into Bohai or you straight out you declare war on Kong Sun Kang, invade him, eradicate him, make sure the entirety of Liao Tong and Liao Si is under you. Tatung can keep this. Uh, this two maker Tatung can keep, but Yang Le and Liao Tong you have to take over. If you were to do the Liao Tong threat, you wanted to you you want to be on the edge of the map. Go ahead, kill Kong Sun Kang. If you want to challenge yourself, go ahead, kill Cao Cao. If you want to go for a challenging start, as well as a avoiding Cao Cao's main stack, go for Bo Hai. You are all three routes, there is no wrong, it is up to you. So that is your starting dilemma, your starting situation, this is what you will be facing. Decide yourself uh, where are you going to go, who are you going to kill, and what is your next plan. Now, characters. You only have two. Yuan Shang and Yuan Xi. And if you notice you will you will saw Qin Yu Chong at the you know the campaign the character selection menu. He is already dead by this time, so he won't be showing in the game. And you just have two characters. 
decide yourself what you are going to do, plan properly, and make sure that Yuan clan survives. If you actually manage to survive. And unique buildings, I won't be talking. You are just uh, reusing the Yuan uh, Palace of Yuan, the administration building. So this is, uh, I, I don't need to talk shit about this, you already know. Now, there is two new stuff that are added for Yuan Sang. So these two, I will talk about it. First of all, is your Yuan Clan estate. This is a my, uh, minor building that you can build. And you, you can clearly see that on the first phase, you will get a plus 4% income from family estates and plus 2 lineage. And the second tier is plus 4 lineage plus 6% from family estate income. And third tier plus 6 plus 10%, fourth tier is plus 8 plus 12%. And lastly, you have your grand clan estate which is plus 16% income from family estate and plus 10 lineage. These are all the lineage I believe is pertinent. And if you look at favorite son, you are actually plus five percent income from industry. So do note that your faction leader is only good when you have a full. Uh, is only good for industry boosting. Yeah, because he only provide a plus five percent income from industry. It's not income from all. So. Do make sure that you conquer enough industry uh, areas so in your campaign. As for Yuan Xi, mediator he is uh, nothing good. So if he dies, he dies. No one gives a fuck about him. Uh, what else should I talk? Ah yes, apart from Yuan Clan estate, we are going to have a look at. Oh yeah, there's only Yuan Clan estate. So. Can you also build it in... Yes, you can also build it in the main city, I believe. Let me check. Yes, you can also build in the city. And if I were to build here, there's one. And then if I were to build here, there's two. So, clearly you have your plus 4 and plus 4, plus 8% uh, income from family estates. Now, what else should I talk about? We already talked about your initial stat, we already talked about your starting position. Uh, I believe I don't have much else to talk for anymore for Yuan Chang because we are skipping the mechanics. He's just uh, reusing whatever that uh, Yuan Chao had. So I I would say this is the end for Yuan Chang, uh, his section preview. And now we will take this opportunity to go after Cao Cao. And yeah, I'll be showing you what it feels like to actually play as Cao Cao in 207. Alright, so now here's the thing about Cao Cao. Like Yuan Shang, faction mechanic unique uh, features such as the unique units, the unique buildings, as well as schemes. I'll be skipping them all. You already know know them. From the base game to the Fate Divider DLC, you already played him uh, quite a lot of times. I'm just going to show you the land and uh, what are their initial or you call start things that you need to do as Cao Cao. So let's enter the menu the campaign and yeah we'll see how fucked up we are. Alright. So we will skip most of the formalities. Yes, we may ready to a concubine.
Okay, so we are here as a section of Cao Cao. And yes, first of all, I'll be showing you how big you are. So this is you, Cao Cao. You own territories from uh, Chen to Peng Cheng. You have your, yeah, I'll, I'll just go one by one from here, it'll be easier. Uh, first of all, you have your Hedong. You have the Luoyang Commandery, Yingchuan Commandery, Yingyuan Commandery, Anping Commandery, Hernei Commandery, Chen Commandery, Zhongshan Commandery, Hengsheng Commandery, the Commandery of Wei, Guohai, Zhangdang, and you have your Qi Pass, Tangu Pass, and Wu Lao Pass. So this is what you start off with as Cao Cao. And first of all, I would like to skip. Uh, I don't want to talk about his credibility as well as the scheme. You guys already know what are all these. And you start off as a kid, as a duke. You're almost reaching the king rank. So if you really want to go uh, full expansionist road, remember that you are just a uh, 477. You are just for yeah three two hundred two hundred plus uh, prestige away from oh yeah two hundred and seventy three additional prestige so two hundred and seventy three three prestige to go for before you become king which will be triggering the three kingdom period now characters of course you have your leader Cao Cao next up you have your <laughs> about to die advisor Guo Jia, your cousin Xiao Dun, the Xun Yu, Mao Jie, uh, Zhang Xiu, Yu Jing, Zhang He. Do note that while you see Zhang He now in this patch, he might be transferred to Xiao Yuan's faction in uh possibly 0 0.7 or 0 0.6 i'm not sure uh, either these two patch uh you'll be transferred there and you also have your wang pain wang la of course your xu chu han tao uh yan rou and yes you have a uh, ma pai this I will be talking to Ironic later, if he actually watches the preview, I will make sure that he will be thrown into Ma Chao's faction. Because Ma Chao and Ma Dai are the only two Ma's that actually survive the purge, I think. Uh, Ma Teng, your wife Lady Bian, your son Cao Pi and his wife Zhen Qi and your other son Cao Zhang and then you have your Cao Zhen you have Jia Xu and Kong Rong and Zhang Ti and oh, that's a lot man you also have Yin Li, Cai, Cai Yang, Wang Su, Yang, Yang Biao, Ma Xiu, Ma Xie, Chen Deng and let us go down Chen Su, Jia Kui, Si Ma Fang, Si Ma Lang Si Ma Fu Su He, Tan Zhou Yuan, Lady Du, uh, Wu Su Quan, yeah. So these are all your characters. You start off with 38 characters, man. That is uh, half of what you are going to see for Sun Quan. <laughs> By that time, I don't know whether or not I can still uh, call their characters name by name. Uh, now, starting situation. You are at war with Yuan Shang and Ta Dun. Uh, hold on, let me go to the diplomacy. 
you are at war with this faction, Liu Bei, Liu Bao, uh, the Tatun, Lei Xu, Yuan Shang, Xu He, Chen Lan, Zhang Meng, yeah, this, uh, this group of uh, nobodies. So, yeah. First of all, you are ex you need to take this city, but expect uh Kuotia to die after this city is taken because then event will trigger when you will be die, he will be dead. If you want Kuotia to live, don't take this city or don't even bother taking down Yen Sang. It is up to you. Uh, let me try and see if I can go peace. No. So, what you should do, rest in peace, make sure that Guo Jia dies, make sure that Guo Jia dies, take this step, bleach your way, secure your north, destroy Tatun and Yuan Shang so you can get most of the north, and invade the Liaotong Peninsula, make sure that you get uh, Kung Sun Kang to join you. If he doesn't want to be your ally or something, just kill him. He's uh, nobody here. And you want to secure your flank here. And next up, you have your vessel of Zhang Yin, who is able to secure your flank here. So no worries. And you have a stack led by Xin Yu here. Uh, build a stack of your own and invade Yu Bao. Even though... Ma Chao and Han Sui can all, always go, even Sang Yin can go and deal with them. You can also go and deal with them if you want. So it's uh, Song Jian and Zhang Meng. So Zhang Meng is not a real threat to you, so you don't need to care about him that much. And to your west, you already know you have Ma Chao, Han Sui and Xia Hou Yuan as your vessel. So your western flank is secure, no worries. To your south, you don't have to worry about Lei Xu because uh, Cao Ren will be taking care of him in the patch 0.6. He will be getting uh, a better stack to one shot kill, one he KO Lei Xu. So no worries, your southern flank here is secure. And Zhang Liao will take out Chen Lan, so this flank is secure. Overall, your entire north, south, east, west, north, south, east, west is secure. She heard you can always call in Sangpa to deal with him. No no issues. You just need to focus on Yuan Shang and Tatun. This is all you need to do at Cao Cao in 207 start. And as well as uh, beware of Yu Bei. So you have uh, your Wang Lang stack here. Build him, build him up. Yeah, build him up. And crush Yu Bei. At least get rid of... Uh, make sure that Wan Xian and Xin Ye belongs to you. You need to make sure these two uh, counties belong to you so you can bother Liu Biao. And Liu Bei can, you know, stay in Huarong and cope with his remnants of his life. Uh, that is basically what you should do as Cao Cao. It helps you secure your you already have vessels who can help you secure your eastern front and your western front and your southern front. The only thing you need to care is your northern front. So do what you must, eradicate uh, the three faction here. I'm telling you to eradicate Kung Sun Kang as well, because why not? He will backstab you if he got the chance, so better deal with him first. Now, another one more thing that you need to be worried is uh, Sun Quan, because he may declare war on you anytime soon. But with your military might and economy might, you can actually uh, defeat Sun Quan if you want. So it is up to you. Same goes to Zhou Yu and Sun Fen. So yeah, you basically had an easier start compared to the uh, previous uh, Guan Tu start phase divided. As you can see that most of your lands are um, all the food from Mandri, so just go and build your Toon Tian Constitution, you know, get all those extra 50% uh, food production everywhere. No no worries, just get all, all those buildings and 
for site building, you don't have any unique site building, so uh, cope with it. Uh, what else should I talk? Ah, yes. I won't be talking about unique units. You already know his unique units. Uh, he has the Qingzhou units as well as the Tiger and Leopard Cavalry, so it's the Tiger Cups and stuff. So, all this yada yada. Uh, I won't talk much about them. And this should sum up uh, Yuan Shang and Cao Cao, both faction under this one preview. And who else should I cover next? I'll decide later, especially when patch 0.6 come out. Then I'll go into the Sun family and most likely go into the Shi, Shi clan and his clan. And yeah, that is basically all you need to know for uh, Cao Cao. So we are skipping quite a lot of stuff. We are leaving the mechanics away. We are leaving the unique units away. We are also leaving the Emperor mechanic away. You already know all this. So we'll keep all this bullshit aside. And yeah, that is all from me. And I'll see you in the next one then. Bye.